Yeah, so Erie's, um, Erie's reaching its 50th year. I think the great challenge is whether Erie is going to persist as an institution as we've known it or whether it's going to be transformed into something more virtual. That's how I envision the great challenges that lie ahead. The reason I say that is because I think that uh, we have a reason to hold on to much of the infrastructure that's there, but part of the inf infrastructure that's there has given way in other parts of the world and in other institutions uh, to a kind of networking approach to research. Because the expertise that we need is not often, uh, we're not able to attract the expertise necessarily into um, a given physical location for the period of time at which we need to interact. And so I see Erie's future as becoming more and more that of uh, a network of collaborators rather than um, a mortar and bricks place where you, you go and you, you, you are only Erie staff because you're there. I think that part of what I experienced during the last three years of my contract with Erie, which was I was a shuttle researcher with a responsibility to Erie, but a, a lab here at Cornell and a thought process that encompassed a larger um, perspective on how we could utilize molecular markers effectively in plant breeding. And I, when my contract ended with Erie and I became a Cornell professor, the fact that my program did not change, and in fact my loyalties never changed, suggests that there are people like me out there for whom um, an interinstitutional working relationship might be a very productive way to envision a future. I also believe that we need to hold on to the, the mortar and the bricks and the seeds that are in that gene bank, and that is a precious resource that we really um, that we really have to have in one place that we can actually access. That's a living resource that needs to be looked after. But a lot of the computational work, a lot of the electronic communication, even a lot of the networking and, and scientific uh, efforts that I participate in are done now in a much more um, virtual way. And I think that the Institute is looking forward to a future of um, increased movement of ideas and resources and also a very different relationship between the public and the private sector as funding um, changes, the, way, the ways in which funding happens are changing. And I think we have to reinvent our institutions. It's not just Erie that will have to reinvent itself. I think our university systems in the United States are undergoing an enforced reinvention. And I hope that maybe we can come together and think about who we train as university people or people in the international sector and how we're training the next generation of scientists and which problems we need to um, come together to address and then use a new institutional framework that includes colleagues in the private sector as well to try to address those needs. So I, I think Erie's not alone in facing these challenges. I think it's just that it would be nice to see our institutions get together and come up with something novel that would work and that would engage the world's most dedicated and brightest people and help work through some of the um, bottlenecks and some of the backlog that we've been unable to break through due to institutional barriers in the past.